No, it's not the parents that are the winners, Rodney. It's the kids. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, Rodney's painting won first prize in an under 15 year old <laughs> Say again. So they think Rodney's 15? <laughs> Is that right? No. They think you're 14. <laughs> I think I'm 14. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this back in England? Well, I thought it might cast a little cloud over the holiday. <laughs> Look, Rodney, I sent your painting off in good faith. I mean, I didn't know there were lots of categories, but it was you, not me. You were the one that wrote on it, Rodney Trotter, age 14 and a half. So the organisers must have put you in the kids' category. So it's your fault that you wrote on it. Uh, of course I had to know that in 12 years' time you were going to enter it for a cornflakes competition. Well, how was I supposed to know that you'd win? Eh? Hey? Anyway, doesn't matter. Now, come on, come on. You're going to waltz through it. Waltz through? How the hell am I going to pass for both <laughs> Will you stop doing that, Cassandra? <laughs> Act your age. <laughs> this is your fault. <laughs> Just look, just look over there, look. Look, some of those lads, look, they're over six foot tall. Fifteen and sixteen year olds, they look much older these days than they used to, and you've got the added advantage of your boyish good looks. That's why there was free tickets, isn't it? One each for Mummy and Daddy and one for the school. <laughs> you can't expect thirteen and fourteen year olds to go abroad on their own, can you, eh? <laughs> and what exactly is your role in all this? Well, um, when the Cornflex people phoned up, they said that you had to be accompanied by your parents. So I said, and I, I don't know why I did it. <laughs> I must have been flustered at the time. I said that I was your dad. My dad? <laughs> did you hear that, Cassandra? Yeah. <laughs> and who the hell am I supposed to be, his mum? Oh, please tell me this is a bad dream. <laughs> Five minutes, okay? It's only a half hour journey to the hotel, so we should be there in plenty of time for lunch, all right? Uh, so the Trotter family. Oh, Mr. Trotter, good. We're just oh, waiting for hello you. Hello there. Um, Alan Perkins, pleased to meet you both. Um, right, here are your rosettes. Oh, what about Mrs. Trotter? <laughs> Mr. Trotter. Thank you. Okay. And uh, this one's for young Rod. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big lad, isn't he? Yes, his late mother was a very tall woman. Six foot three. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Rodney. Oh, well, uh, here's your badge, Rodney. <laughs> you are now a life member of the Groovy Gang. <laughs> the, the Groovy Gang. Just an idea we came up with to help the kids feel really part of it.